So here's the one about the 14th Dalai Lama. Got some interesting dates on here and everything. Let's see how far I can go in. On July the 6th, 1935. July the 6th is the day that the CIA tried to kill me over and over and over again. 1966, 67, 68, 69, and 70. And following the death of the 13th Dalai Lama, December 17th, December 17th is when my great uncle, Uncle Sam, who was the son of the 13th Dalai Lama, actually started poisoning and killing Alan Dulles, December the 17th, 1968. Dulles died 126, 1969. 40 days of insanity. And here a little history from uh, all the way back to the fifth Dalai Lama and how things were, people were chosen and this and that and that and this, but uh, that's not exactly right and everything. I can give you another story. The Golden Urn, bestowed by Emperor of the Qing Dynasty to hold the lots of the Dalai Lamas. What it is, is these four, they found four boys after so many boys that were able to identify the four or five artifacts of the 13th Dalai Lama. They were, you know, they had three pairs of glasses and they got to pick one of three and out of the 20-some boys, only four picked them. So they put these guys lots, these sticks in that urn in order to, watch this, how is it going to do According to the regular stipulated by the Queen, the final step of, you see, can you read that? So what they would do is put these four lots in there, and then one would pick one lot, and that would be the 14th Dalai Lama. Do you understand that? They don't know which four boys is the 14th Dalai Lama, the reincarnated 13th. Uh, and to tell you the truth, the 13th never did reincarnate as the 14th. Uh, they would pick one of these lots, and that's how they did it. You know, it's just like going to Las Vegas or wherever else, some sort of casino, going up to the game, and there's four lots. You pick one. If you pick the right one, you win money. If you don't, you don't win money. That's how these boys were picked. And when you come to find out who actually found the 14th Dalai Lama, Yo, you know what happened? He ended up in jail not too long after that and was found dead in jail. He had concubines and even had a weapon. And because he fired the weapon, they put him in jail, and then he ends up in being found dead so many days later in that jail cell. There you go. There's a history that I've been told. Okay, I gave you those strange dates, July the 6th, where the CIA tried to kill me over and over and over again. Then, December 17th, when the 13th Dalai Lama died, and that was the date that the, his son went and poisoned uh, uh, Alan Dulles because I told him on 11-27th, the uh, 28th birthday of Bruce Lee, uh, uh, just four days before I met Bruce Lee, I told him about how uh, Dulles has, had been trying to kill me and all that and everything. But here, look at that. February 22nd, the enthronement cer ceremony was held, okay? You know what 222 two, two is? That's the birthday of George Washington. Boo-ho! Another date just falling right out. Three dates m mentioned on these two articles, which is one article, on these two pages, which is one article, and all three, I've related those dates to some sort of other coincidence, you know? There's other people that were born on July the 6th besides the 14th Dalai Lama. What was it? I think uh, Nancy Reagan was, and uh, George Bush, I think. The younger George Bush, yeah, you have to check it out. There you go, people, there's a quick vid telling you how they picked the 14th Dalai Lama and me claiming that the 13th Dalai Lama did not reincarnate as a 14th. Sorry, 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 sorry that I'm messing up your game plan. Take care.